Hey right guys, Trey from Winchester Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 15 of Glee, I think, yeah, episode 15 of Glee season 1. Uh, last episode was kind of obviously the mid-season premiere, I guess you could say, and the whole Sue thing, people have, I, I didn't know in the episode anyway that she didn't, you know, do anything to the principal uh, Higgins, I think his name is, because she did have the clothes on, but... Nonetheless, it's still super creepy. <laughs> I just wanted to clear that up because some people in the Patreon comments, the video isn't even up on YouTube yet. So I don't imagine what the comments are going to be like on that one um, for that Sue situation. But I do know that she didn't do anything. But it was just kind of one of those things where I'm like, yo, people like this character and she's just done the creepiest shit ever. Like, any other character did that in any other show, <laughs> people would just be mad. But, like, people seem to really like Sue. But each their own. I do understand, though. She is one of those characters where she's... Um, the villain, the villain of the show, I guess you could say for now, but she does have, she does have funny one-liners here and there, and she does progress the story along most of the time. So I do understand why people might like her character, but not like her as a person, um, because you do have those characters in TV shows. It just kind of took me off guard. I think last episode that she'd go that far, um, but I guess she really would do anything. So that's Sue for you. Um, and I think my only thing with Sue now is I think they need to give her. a bit more to the character because they did that with episode 9 and I thought they were maybe going to continue to do that and I'm sure they will in future episodes don't get me wrong but it's just I feel like she's very just one dimensional in the sense that she'll do the jokes and she'll try and get under Will's skin and that's kind of all she does at the moment um, so hopefully if anything they introduce more villain characters throughout the show if I do continue with it we'll wait and see I'm still unsure yet <laughs> uh, but yeah anyway guys just wanted to clear that up so you don't don't need to worry I know, I know who Sue is, I know what she's like. Episode 15, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you want early and uncut reactions to this show, amongst other shows, that link to the Patreon page will be down below, as well as Twitter, Instagram, we have a Discord with the Glee chat in as well, so feel free to join that. Uh, Twitch channel, where I stream every single day, and then finally my two other channels, one with gaming content, and one where I post the podcast with my two friends. So yeah, anyway guys, let's do this. I was starting off with Sue's journal. Makes sense. Simply, Madonna is the most powerful woman to ever walk the face of the earth. Um, I'm instating a new policy whereby we play Madonna's Madonna. race over the PA hmm. system quite loudly throughout the entire school day. I would argue Viola Davis, but <laughs> I would also argue Zendaya. Zendaya was the most powerful human in the world. Smile. So yeah, she has clothes on her, but... Have your wife's phone. To recap, She's such scum. She would have been fired ages ago. Joe, dispense your belief. It is Glee. No. Madonna <laughs> once said, "I'm tough, I'm ambitious, and I know what I want. If that makes me a bitch, okay." No, really, she stole it from me. I said it first. Yeah. Palladium. Eighty-seven. Well, let's just say. Hypothetically, we went to a Wiggles concert last Friday night, and then because my dads were in home, we went up to Wiggles. Out. No one says that and we should do it. You know what we should do, mate? We should do opening the door and let you leave. Because if anyone says that, escort them out of the big building. Just get them out of the fucking. Let's do it. So fun facts that you already already know this, but apparently they're really good friends, even to this day. How do I stop a guy from getting mad at me for saying no? Just do what I do. Never say no. Oh, totally. I mean, if a guy gets mad at you for like saying no. Sorry, Quinn. Well, girl, yeah, don't guy. The last guy I like was the mayor. I thought a lot about it, and I forgive you for lying about your stutter. However, if you're oh, yeah, that. all up on this, and I believe you should work it more if we're going to be an item. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> So hey everyone's guys. scum. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, um, that's a hot button topic, isn't it? I mean, when to do that. <laughs> she she wanted to not be in the best place to do this. this. Right. Yes, we will change the world when girls. She's so wholesome. Be like a girl saving team. If I can continue the show or not, either way, I'm doing a character tier list of season one. So again, if someone can make a character tier list for me with just season one characters, because I don't want to search it up and find spoilers, then uh, tweet at me, something like that. Like I said, I wouldn't do it myself, but I'll find spoilers. What the fuck? Oh, I thought they were really tall people. Oh, I thought they were just really tall. Oh my god, thank god. I was terrified. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, the car outfit is kind of cool because you got shit on the people. But, not for me. 
stately manner. Three out. No, two out of ten. Two out of ten. Hit the showers. Two out of ten. Only because the tall people really amuse oh, me. Hey, William. Just like your hairdresser has empowered you to look absolutely ridiculous. I'll see you later, Sue. Sue, you wear the same costume every day. What comes to mind when you see that name? Genius. Icon. Uh, Zendaya's better. You're disrespectful, bullying, sexist, and I hate to say it, misogynistic. Right. <laughs> Ruined. I went to a misogynist. And that is something I think you guys need to work on. I think you as well, Will, because you don't really inv involve, like, Harry Trump Jr. in the main choreography or anything like that. And, like, at least five of us. <laughs> Finch's can't even bear to look. Will's loving it, though. Will's vibing. <laughs> Yo, Mercedes is sick. To be fair, I vocally, not character-wise, not yet, <laughs> but vocally. GG. I'll go. I'll go seven out of ten. I think it was good. It was good. You know what I'm waiting for though. You know that um, choreography that Trin has like popularized. It's like of Quinn for Bray and the two cheerleaders doing it or something. Like that's just all over Twitter at the moment. <laughs> she's dating that Jesse kid from Vocal Adrenaline. No, she's not. Please. You can um, smell it well, that came out quick. A cat in heat. Wait, what, what do I get out of it? I don't know. You get to have you, sex and make Rachel jealous? I was going to say, you like, okay. I meant for me. <laughs> what do you mean, what do you get out of it? For me. Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, please sit down. No. <laughs> okay. Well, it's simple, Arlene. You don't deserve the power of Madonna. You have none of her self confidence. That ADR. Power of her body. Finn, I was just coming to find you. That guy had the same haircut as me. Did you see that? Look, are you still dating that Jesse kid? Jesse, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's just lie instantly. We can still be friends. Um, Dad. As my friend. They're going out with the songs this episode, to be fair. Yo, know, these are bangers to be fair. Whenever these two do a duet, it's kind of all automatically gets at least a 5 out of 10. The cutting with the audio is so bad this episode though, like it happened there as well. It's cut hard cut. Alright mate, you're gonna have to clean all that up though, so I don't... Oh, that was a Madonna reference. Oh, they're all Madonna references. Okay, never mind. Oh, <laughs> it's just random with that. That's Madonna. Costume for there's like 20. Yo, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I love the pianist. Finn just looks like he shot himself. I'm gonna go seven. No. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. 7.8. Eight out of ten. Well, to be honest, you, I got inspired watching your Cheerios. Well, I've been waiting this song's all my faves, Roman Dunn. Sick. Sick. I'm here, this one. Kid. Oh, by the way, how's the Florence Henderson look working out for you? Oh. Ruined. Maybe she <laughs> Mate, she should have been five days ago. I actually got triggered by that. This song goes with this scene, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda good. Hey. I grew up with a handy capable sister. Oh I shit, Rush again. Nazi hunters, so they weren't around a lot. What? I had to bring her up on my own. Here we Ladies go, finally. Upon ourselves. What's Kurt to always look like that? <laughs> Whatever chemicals we can use. Jesse, is that you? I'm so glad you came. Jesus! I picked the Stephen Sondheim biography. Such a murderer. Destined. He's just a useless Cinderella. Oh, great. You... No, you I are not. Unreal. I'm planning on doing the nasty with you tonight at your place. Right. So Everyone's having sex. Imagine talking about that with students yeah, walking mothers. around you. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> well, plenty cool. Yes, sir. Vogue, Vogue take one. Vogue. Another banger, to be fair. Sounds you have to recreate this at a film school. And action. It's like the black and white one, innit? And playback. Yep, it's already gone into black and white. Yeah. 
We had to, we had to recreate this um, shot by shot at film school. It's kind of fun. It's a sick music video, to be fair. I just realised Sue's singing. Mad. <laughs> this is awesome. I never thought we'd get a Sue solo. Kurt's looking suave as well. <laughs> That's awesome. How old is this song? Oh, you know, I'm just going to search quickly. 1990. Fuck me. It's five years older than me. Yo, yeah, that was boss. That was boss. You gotta go 9 out of 10 with that one. Just because of the video, they put they put work into this one. Usually it's just like uh, Rachel and Finn doing that. And it's like, well, you're not really trying there. And that was like, yeah, shit, mad. 9 out of 10. And Sue can sing. Who would have known? She hasn't sang before, actually. I feel like maybe. No, she hasn't. Are you ready? No, I'm probably not. Are you ready? Oh my god. Fuck it. Shut up. Everyone's getting laid. Yo, imagine. No one's gonna do it. No one. That's not right. Oh my god. That that character who I don't know the name her uh, oh god, that I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. Oh yo, I thought they were going at it then. Four. I was like Oh, they're actually doing this. Mad. 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 Are they actually... Oh no, this was all a dream. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I should have known. I should have Rachel? known. Yeah, because that would make no sense. Why would you burst into song before... I mean, if you want to burst into song before sex, you go for it, but... Like that, and for the first Our time. Project was a triumph. I know. I wonder. What... Did they actually all have sex? Miss Sylvester. Here's a list of the kids that went shipped off to New York with thirty-five bucks in their pocket. Operation is <laughs> now Great. complete. So these are all. You mean that? Are you just saying that because I poked a couple of kids' eyes out before second period today? Oh, great! So you torture kids. Oh, the song that we hey. just had. I didn't rate it. I'll go seven out of ten. The song's a decent this episode. Minus one. It went wonderfully. Because I'm truly not ready to do this, I'd be betraying myself. There you go, that's more important. I'm happy for you. And you'll buzz uh, What about you? I heard that you had I, to do So no one did do it, I'm right. right. I was right the first time. I couldn't go through with it. How do you feel? What? I don't feel anything. It actually happened. Oh my god. He lied. He lied! <laughs> <gasps> Mad. What about Will and Emma? You don't need to sleep with me to prove anything. You took ownership of your body. The door's you open. If you weren't ready, we need to instate an official no dating policy until my divorce is final. Right. When will that be? In about five years. I filed today. Oh, so boom, boom. Mr. Schuster. Yes. Mr. Pooster. Jesse St. James. I thought you all would take this news a little better. I'm a star. You can learn Wait, is he joining? He's joining. I don't want him here. I don't like him. He's a spy, Mr. Jesse just moved in with his uncle. Great. In our school district. It's all change the rules now. That would be unfair. I get that, but he's blatantly. Mr. Shu, is he your son? I mean, actually, yeah. Understand why you're doing this. Because when you love something, you gotta go for it. And I care about you more than winning another national title. Bullshit. So vocal adrenaline. <laughs> Cut to L.A. Noir. Doubt. <laughs> Just right, shut up, mate. That's the musical now. They get that with the car on thing in the second half of this season. <laughs> GG. Short and sweet. I like that. It's on the go. 8 out of 10. Actually, no, 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 I feel like it might be a bit too hard because it wasn't the best song of the... I'll go 7.5 because it wasn't the best of the, the episode. Depp is a hair gel. And once again, I am making fun of your incredibly stupid hairdo. Back, back to that. It's degrading. Secretly, you'd love to know what it's like, wouldn't you? Is Hyshom Jr. going to talk? Is he going to talk? 
just no. Oh fuck. I thought I thought they were all gonna save some of it. Let's see. <gasps> <laughs> we'll find him. RT? Oh, it's quite cool to go over like, the lads singing this one. I do like the message behind this episode. It's a good one. It's a, it's a good one. You know, he's a very like happy Madonna tribute, but he's like the reason Madonna is an icon, like incorporated into an actual storyline, which is really cool. I am not down with this. I like being a dude. That's because it's easy yeah, to be. Yeah, you're also a pedo, so I mean, let's pipe down. I'm Finessa. Wait, with feelings, get out of my grill. I am a powerful woman, and my <laughs> face and will cut you in half like a righteous blade of a. Objectifying? That's the right word, right, Mr. Right. Shu? Objectifying? As an honor. <laughs> That's the right word. <laughs> I would get down on one knee if I could. Why would you propose to me? Oh, sake. And if you want to get up on it. I just imagine like a, an episode in like season five or something of Arty getting cyborg legs and he just yep. turns to a cyborg and then does a musical team. number and starts doing the robot. And I could have had you, but blew it. Blew it for now. I'll give it a few apps. Okay, Finn. I know we oh, have a big show. Jesse. Today, so let's just decide on the arena. Sing off the parking lot. Five o'clock. Be there. <laughs> Great. Frankly, I need you. I'm tired of carrying the male vocals all by myself. I mean, Harsham Jr. said, why did you just get him to... Oh, I'll whatever. To stay away from your girl. <laughs> Instant regret. Everyone Rachel, going. Just sick myself, yo. Like yo, I would have just had to have a solo, not gonna lie. I would have been down for that. It's like an Oh, to be fair though, Finn can sing as well, as we know, so, fuck. Yeah, I forget they're all gonna sing in. Bollocks! Oh, this is boss. Harry going in. Yes, Harry. Usually they end on a really, not trash, but like one of the weaker ones. So I'd say they ended on the best one of the episode. I'm gonna, yo, that, that actually was an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Actually, no, I forgot about Vogue. Vogue was a 9. So Vogue was still the best, just because of the video on that. But the vocals on that one were really good. So Vogue was the best, but that one was like a second. I did, I did uh, briefly forget about that one. Ah, okay, there we go, guys. That is episode 15 of Glee Season 1. I really enjoyed that episode. I wouldn't say it was one of my favourites, but very good episode. Definitely better than the last one, I think. I can't remember exactly what I gave the last episode out of 10, but I think this one was <laughs> uh, better. I think... They went in with the songs. I, I don't know exactly how many there are, but it felt like there was around eight songs in total, I want to say. Uh, so to fit eight songs in 40 minutes and only one of them being trash, I'd say. One of them was not for me. And then I'd say the rest were either good or great. Um, that, that, that one being great and the, what, the Vogue one being great. And actually Finn and Rachel's one was really good. And then even Kurt and Mercedes duo, that one was really good as well. So I think the songs worked really well in this episode. The main story didn't interest me too much, but I liked the message behind it, like as I said in the reaction, um, with Madonna. I, I'm not into Madonna's music, but you can appreciate you can appreciate an artist even if you don't kind of listen to their stuff. And it can be like that with anything like a film. You can appreciate a film even if you know it's not a film for you or a TV series or a game. And so like Madonna is one of those where I appreciate who she is and her music. I just don't really listen to it, but I do know her songs, and I do, I do think she has really good songs as well. Um, and it's quite funny seeing that Vogue uh, music video, because as I said, we had to recreate that in college years ago, so that was kind of a throwback, which was nice. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. I think it's just an enjoyable episode. Obviously, it was a huge tribute to Madonna, uh, so fair play, but it, I think it very easily could have been boring, because I'm glad they had it be a tribute to Madonna, but didn't just focus on, if you're a Madonna fan, you'll really like this episode. If you're not, then you're going to hate the episode, because, as I said, me not being a huge fan of Madonna, um, still really enjoyed it because of the message and because of the songs, choreography and stuff. So, yeah, another another decent one. I won't say it's great, like I said, but I'd give it a 7 out of 10, like a solid 7. Maybe actually like a 7 point... I'll go 7 point 5, actually. I think it was, it was really good. Uh, we had a little bit more to sue as well, just kind of break... I feel like now, though, it's like we'll just get... 
cliche suit for five episodes and then she'll have like one little moment cliche suit. I kind of hope that's not the case. We'll wait and see. I'm expecting that to be the case for season one, maybe two. But I think after that, if they do continue with Sue being the main villain, they should build on the character a bit more. But obviously I don't know. <laughs> we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching there guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me thought the episode down below in the comments. And if you want early and uncut reactions to Glee, then a link to the Patreon page will of course be down below. Until next time, episode 16. Peace.